Okay, so now that we know how to come up with and source our product bonuses, let's focus on coming up with a budget for our first orders by determining what type of investor you plan to be. You see, the key to knowing how many items we're going to order from our supplier or suppliers is to initially figure out our budget and how much we're comfortable investing in at any one time. The error most sellers make is that they allow the supplier to determine how much capital they're going to invest. We want to give you the ability to negotiate in a position of strength and knowledge. You see, your budget is not and should never utilise your entire capital fund. Why? Well, it's simple. We don't want to find ourselves in a position where we've used up all our capital and have gone all in. The reason for this is simple. It creates a sense of scarcity within us as we place our order. We put all our focus and energy on doing one thing and one thing only, which is to create sales in order to get our money back. Instead, we must take the view that we're buying an asset, which over time will produce incredible returns for us. It certainly won't happen in a day or a month. It takes time to allow the item to sell and to be ranked in the Amazon system. The last thing we want to do is to push our items and take sales wherever they may come from due to scarcity or fear. The way around this is to cordon off a portion of capital that we want to increase the value of and then determine what type of investor we plan to be. There are three types of investors. You may want to be somewhat cautious in your investment strategy. We'd recommend making 33% of your investment capital available if you find yourself in this position. Next, if you want to make the needle a little quicker, you can be a conservative investor and make 50% of your investment capital available to invest in products. Finally, you can be an aggressive investor and cordon off 66% of your investment capital. There's no right or wrong way to do or think about this. It's 100% up to you. We recommend going straight down the middle if you're unsure. So all that's left to do now is to determine what type of investor you are to work out what your budget amount is for now. Now, calculate your budget based on the type of investor you are coupled with how much investable capital you have available. You must now make that capital 100% available for investment in your mind. This is the fund that's going to fuel your empire. The key is to avoid clutching onto this for dear life while at the same time being cautious in your approach to ensure you complete every step of the process and make good investment choices. So here's how to complete this process step by step. First, you know how much you have available to invest. This is capital that's already in your bank account that's doing absolutely nothing, just sitting there. The key now is to sort your potential products by order value, lowest to highest. When we do this, we can see what items will utilise the biggest portion of our investment capital. The next step is very simple. You'll simply take the lowest order value that you can afford and remove that value from your budget. Now you'll go to the next lowest value and remove that from your budget. Repeat this process until your budget can't cover the next production order, that is, until your budget runs out. When we do this, we maximise the number of products that we can sell because we're not tying our investment fund up in opportunities that are investment hungry.